Hello, welcome to Cami Designs, and I'm just going to go over a few things that you might not think of you need when you start knitting. Um, and these are just some basics. This is a cable needle, so you only need this if you are going to do a cable. If you're not going to do a cable, you're not going to need this. Um, these are yarn needles. You can get them in metal or plastic. These are the plastic ones. You can get them at Walmart for like a dollar or something for like three or four of them. And these you will need to use to weave in the end of your yarn so it doesn't come undone. So there's those stitch markers. Now you don't need to buy a set. You can use paper clips, hair ties, um, anything that will slide on your needles works. Um, but these, I did buy these ones, or they came in sets of mine. I'll zoom in here. These work for knit and crochet because they open. Like that. Or these only work for knit, and they are complete circles. And you just slide them on your needle as you work. So like this. You just, oops. And so they just slide along as you work. These here are end protect end protect end protectors sorry about that and these just go on the end of your needle so you have stitches you don't want falling off you just put this on the end and it will stop the stitches from falling off you don't need these once again you can use rubber bands um anything that will not slide well on your knitting needle. So rubber bands are pretty much the only thing that's uh, that's rubbery enough that it will stick to your needle. But you can get a pack of these, like a large pack of these on Amazon for like under five dollars. And um, you can get them in different, you can get different cute ones, you know, some have little bears on them and different different images and things but I just got the basic ends another thing people don't think about what they need is a ruler at some point in your pattern you're going to have to measure either into the number of stitches a rib something you're gonna have to measure even doing your swatch so when you first knit something, you need to know your gauge is right. So, for example here, this here. This is just a sample one that I've used in different videos. I need to know, a pattern says I need to have it, you know, knit this many rows by this many, um, column, you know, rows and stitches, so I need seven stitches in eight rows and it should measure this number. So you're going to need to make sure that it's the right size because that can throw your garment off a lot. If you're just even maybe an inch off or half an inch off, that adds up really fast. And say you're making a sweater, that sweater is going to be a lot bigger than what you originally thought. So doing a gauge or swatch is very important, so you'll want a ruler. Cloth rulers come, this is considered a fabric ruler or cloth ruler because it's flimsible. It moves and you can get one of these at Walmart, on Amazon, you can get attractable ones, and you just need something to be able to measure by. Now these here these measure your need they have the needle size but a lot of these also have a ruler on the side so this also will help to do a gauge or a swatch or anything like that um i think that is it i don't think there was anything else that most people would need just starting out um besides scissors you're going to need scissors, something to cut your thread with so scissors are usually the way to go. Um, and 
Once again, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and please subscribe. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away patterns. I'll do a giveaway each week, one for knitting and one for crochet, for a free pattern of my own design on Ravelry. And I'll try to put a link in the description below to my Ravelry design page so you can see what kind of patterns I do and even if you'd like them, any of them. So that's it. Have yourself a great day and thanks for watching. Bye!